the three-phase transformer YY connection and the introduction to the infamous square root 3. Module 1. The YY Connection Check out the resources section under this video for helpful comments, suggestions, and clarifications. Let's begin by drawing a single phase transformer with two windings. We'll assume that the winding on the left is the primary side, or the high voltage side, or the source side. And we'll assume that the winding on the right is the secondary side, or the low voltage side, or the load side. We'll indicate polarity side of the windings by nice round dots. And lastly, we'll draw two parallel lines in the middle to illustrate magnetic coupling. And for the sake of simplicity, we'll assume that the primary voltage is 4160 volts and the secondary voltage is 480 volts. What we have so far is a single phase transformer and we'll assign a capital A to the primary winding and a lowercase a for the secondary winding. To make a three-phase transformer, we'll add winding B and winding C appropriately. The Y-connected transformer is distinguished by a common wire, which is also referred to as a fourth wire or a neutral wire. This common wire can be connected in various ways to achieve very specific results. The Y connection is almost always found with a common wire connected to the non-polarity side of the windings. This is how we'll configure our transformer in this example. We're going to take a wire and connect the non-polarity side of winding A to winding B and the non-polarity side of winding B to winding C. So all the non-polarity side of winding A, B and C are connected together. And this wire will refer to this wire as a common wire or a neutral wire or a fourth wire. The primary windings are connected in the Y connection. We're also going to take the non-polarity side of the secondary windings and connect them together too. This makes a Y connection on the secondary side as well. This here my friends is a YY connected three phase transformer. Again, the Y connection is distinguished by a common wire, which connects all three windings to a common point or neutral point. There are many names for the Y connected transformer. It's sometimes spelled as Y, and sometimes referred as a letter Y. It's sometimes called a star connection, and sometimes referred as a four wire system. Different names, but they all mean the same thing. There are many ways to configure the Y connection and each method gives us a unique characteristic. We may find that the neutral wire or the neutral point to be grounded like this. And sometimes we may find it ungrounded. When ungrounded, it's simply a connection between all three windings. And it's referred as a YY connection with the neutral wire ungrounded. Sometimes the fourth wire is grounded with a very large impedance like this and sometimes it's grounded with a small impedance. Nonetheless, a four wire system is distinguished by a common wire that connects all three windings together to a common point. In our example, we'll keep our discussion simple and solidly ground both sides of the transformer. Okay, so now that we've drawn our YY connected transformer in this particular way, let's draw our lines or conductors. We'll begin by drawing line A, and line A is connected to the bushing of winding A, which is illustrated by this small box. Let's also draw line B and line C on the primary side. And line A, line B, and line C on the secondary side. This, my friends, is our YY connected three phase transformer. And if we were to describe this particular transformer connection to someone, we'd say that we have a 4160 to 480 volt three phase transformer. It has a Y grounded, Y grounded connection. Both the primary side and the secondary side is solidly grounded with no neutral impedance. We'll cover voltages and current quantities in the next module. Thank you for watching. 
This module is brought to you by GeneralPack.com, making power systems intuitive.